This is the busiest primary election week of the year. Voters heading to the polls in seven states today, casting ballots and primaries that could determine who controls Congress. Some incumbents are sweating. There's the mayor's race in L.A., that D.A. in deep blue San Francisco, facing a recall after all the crime backlash. The first polls close in less than an hour in New Jersey. And throughout the night, results will start pouring in from Iowa, Mississippi, Montana, New Mexico, South Dakota, and as mentioned, California. NBC's national political correspondent Steve Kornacki at the big board. You know, a big focus, Steve, tonight on two Republican incumbents out in, in California. Yeah, you know, Shep, we'll be talking a lot about California this fall when it comes to the question of control of the House. But there are two incumbents in particular we're looking at on the ballots night in California where there is a question of whether they'll make it to the fall. Let's start in the 22nd district. This is the Central Valley of California. The Republican incumbent is David Valadeo. Now, remember, by the way, in California, the primaries are a little bit different. Democrats, Republicans, they all run on the same ballot together. The top two, regardless of party, make it to the general election. So the Democrats have rallied around a state legislator named Rudy Salas. The difficulty that Valadeo faces could be with his own party. Why? Because he voted last year for the impeachment of Donald Trump after January 6th. So Valadeo voted for impeachment. Another Republican, Chris Matisse, has gotten into this race. And Democrats nationally have put a little money in here trying to prop up Matisse a little bit in this primary tonight, hoping that he makes it to the general election instead of Valadeo. This will be a closely watched race overwhelmingly. By the way, uh, overall, this is a Democratic district. So Valadeo you know, has barely won in the past. Will he be in some trouble tonight? Another district, Southern California, Orange County, Young Kim. She was one of the first ever Korean-American women elected to Congress when she won this seat two years ago. The district has been changed a bit by redistricting again. She's drawn a primary challenger from the right, Greg Raths, trying to rally pro-Trump sentiment. National Republicans have put a fortune into this race, trying to make sure that young Kim survives and gets to the general election. Kornacki, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.